lovely students. It's Ms. Yasmin Sidim and a new English lesson for today. Today we're going to work mainly on writing. Writing. What are the rules of writing a good sentence? How do we write good sentences? And how can I write a perfect paragraph? Okay. Now we're going to start by the sentences. How can I write a good, perfect, extended sentence? Okay. Let me tell you that I wrote a word, which is dog. I put the word on the board. Asking some students to put the word into sentences. Everyone is going to write the word into a sentence. The 10 students answered the question. Or, sorry, illustrated the word into a sentence. But everyone wrote, yes, a different sentence. Exactly. Now... We're going to evaluate all the work of the students and we're going to give them from 1 to 5. And we're going to read the sentences together. Let us start. I need you to evaluate with me how many marks will every student take. Student A wrote a good dog. Student B, a dog running. Student C, a dog is running. Student D, I have a dog. Then student E, I saw a dog yesterday. F, a dog barks. D, my dog likes to eat bones. H, my cute little dog barks loudly at night. I, my beautiful dog wags her long brown tail gently at us, but she barks fiercely at the unsuspecting strangers. Jay wrote, Although my sweet old dog cannot see very well, he can recognize you easily with his remarkable sense of smell. Okay, I evaluated all the students. Let us see how many marks will they take for, the, for their sentences. Student A talk 0, B 0, C and D 1 and 1. Let us see why. We'll take the first sentence. A good dog. A good dog. Do you remember what are the rules of writing a sentence? Do you remember the sentence components? Yeah, the song. Which said, I'm a sentence, I'm a sentence, consist of, consist of, subject, verb, and object, subject, verb, and object, ding, dan, dong, ding, dan, dong. Do you remember? Yeah! So here, the full sentence should consist of a subject, verb, and object. Sometimes we don't need the object, but at least... You have to get an idea. You have to get an idea from this. You have to get an idea from this sentence. He just wrote a good dog. Did you get an idea? Where is the subject? Which is a good dog. It's just a subject. What did he do? What's wrong with the good dog? Does he bark? Does he play? Is it fierce or... What's wrong with the good dog? Just like, is it a complete meaning? Did you get any complete meaning here? No. Just like when I say, I am. You what? I am. You're what, teacher? I am. I'm hungry. Yeah, we got the meaning now. So, a good dog. Is it a false sentence? No. So, I'm sorry, X. Let us move. Another sentence. A dog running. A dog running. So, did you get a meaning? Yeah, at least. There's a subject and a verb. But is the verb written in the right way? We have a verb, but it's not a finite verb. Finite verb, exactly. It's not written in the right way. So, instead of saying a dog running, can you just... Tell me, how will I correct the sentence here? Just try to correct the sentence. How will you correct it? A dog running. Yeah? A dog is running? 
are running, a dog running is, how will it be? Exactly, a dog is running. A dog is running. Now I got the meaning and I got a false sentence. So instead of just saying a dog running, we can say a dog is running, a dog was running, a dog will be running, a dog has been running. So you can write all of that, but never say a dog running. Never say my mom cooking. My mom is cooking. The teacher is explaining. I am playing. Right? Okay. Then let us move to another student. Some students wrote a dog barks. My dog likes to eat bones. And here I gave them three out of five. Why? Did you get the meaning? Yes, I got a complete meaning. It's very meaningful. And they put the subject and the verb. And here there is object in the second sentence. So why did they take only three out of five? I will tell you why. Because it's such a very, very simple sentence. I cannot write in this simplicity all the time. Yes, a dog barks is right. But what if I try to add some words to the sentence to make it more meaningful and long extended sentence? What will I do? Just wait. A dog barks. How will we do it? We can say, my cute little dog barks loudly at night. Right? My dog barks. My cute little dog. It barks. Barks where? Barks how? It barks loudly at night. So, if you wrote the sentence like that, Yes, here. So here, my dog barks. We've studied the adjectives and the adverbs, right? So here, we had my little dog. After that, we had my dog barks. My dog barks. Okay. The, the word dog is a noun. How will I modify? How will I modify the word dog? By guess, by giving some adjectives to the word. So here, my little dog, my cute little dog. Can I say it? Yes. So I modified the subject. My dog barks. It's going to be, after modifying, yes, my cute little dog barks but bark here is a verb can i bring an adverb yes how will i modify the verb by adding adverb so my cute little dog barks loudly at night now you get ha huh, five out of five but if you wrote it as such a simple short sentence you never get the full mark moving to this sentence which is a very extended sentence Although my sweet dog, sorry, my, my sweet old dog can't see very well, he can't recognize you easily with his remarkable sense of smell. Okay, so here it's a complex sentence. Although my sweet old dog cannot see very well, he can recognize you easily with his remarkable sense of smell. So it's a complex sentence sentence yes now we can give them five out of five so all what i need from you from now on to try to extend to make the sentences bigger longer by putting what 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 would you put by putting uh -huh, exactly by putting adjectives yes and adverbs if you have a, a noun, you can describe it by using any adjective, right? And if you have a verb, you can describe it by using adverbs. Exactly. 